uh, a martini to me is just something that's totally full of booze and uh, I wanted to appeal to something more than uh, a lady from Sex in the City or a drunken old man who only wants thing one, things one way. Um, so I'm making a heavy metal martini and I'm calling it the goat. Um, it's got, <laughs> it's got uh, a French cognac, two ounces of, of Landy cognac. Let's spin them so we can see them too, is that okay? Yep. <clears throat> And then it has a blood orange liqueur because you have to have blood in a heavy metal drink. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is also why heavy metal people wear black. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna so, spin this around if you don't sure. mind. Oh yeah, okay. can see it. And then I'm using bottle. Salerno, which is a blood orange liqueur, and it, I am doing an ounce and a, an ounce. Of that. You also pick the heaviest possible bottles that are full. I know, right? <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> um, oh, and then I'm using an ounce of pomegranate juice. To make it look like blood. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh. <laughs> and then I'm using blood oranges, and I'm just going to shake these up in the glass. Awesome. Look at that. I will overdub heavy metal music to that part, <laughs> by the way. There you go. <laughs> All right. More heavy metal music? Yeah. <laughs> or like goats. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Yes, that would be great. So obviously not a bartender. Mm -hmm. I would say, hey, what is that? Yeah. Right? And then I'm just, just going to throw a little pentagram in there for Satan. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful. Yum. Thanks. Uh -huh. That smells so good. So talk about, let's talk about the, the, ba the base, that first thing you put in there. That's a cognac. Uh -huh. um, Why did you pick that particular one? Um, because it's what I had at my house. Okay. Right <laughs>